Every kitchen needs a KR cookware. If you don't know why, my following demo will tell you why. The unique feature about the KR cookware is made of 7 ply silver nano marble stone that make it more durable. I'll be using this k Art frying pan to prepare this dish called pan fry pot filet with tropical salsa. We're going to make the salsa first. First, you put in the mango, the pineapple, the kiwi, the shallot, the diced chili, the chopped coriander, fresh lime, and then the Tobasco sauce, chili and peri, the seasoning, pepper meal, salt, lastly the olive oil. We toss everything together. Okay, next we will season the fish with um, cumin powder and also a bit of lean berry. Okay, season. Okay, now I will show you how I prepare this dish. The pan transfer heat very fast, so in less than two to three minutes, the pan will be heat, heated up. This pan also have a unique function. The indicator will light up in red if it's hot. Then you put a bit of oil. You put a fish on the pan. You can see there's a. Um, very little smoke coming out from this pan and you can use less oil for this pan. After the fish is cooked, put it on a plate, put the salsa on the fish. To clean the pan, you just have to use a paper and clean it. And it leaves you with no stain. Hi everyone, I'll be showing you how K-Art Cookware can make cooking so easy and fast. The unique feature about the K-Art Cookware is made of 7 ply silver nano marble stone that make it more durable. When you pour the induction stove, it transfers heat very fast, it heats up faster and also saves energy. Today I'm going to show you a dish called Spicy Prawn Linguini Pasta. This pan also has a unique function. The indicator will light up in red if it's hot. As you see, it heats up very fast. You just have to put a bit of olive oil for the pasta. First put in the garlic. So you fry the garlic as it's spicy, so we have to add some chili, chili paddy. Add in the prawns. Followed by the vegetable. Top laser, tomato, and degrease with some white wine. 
put a pasta. Followed by the pepper, pepper meal for seasoning. Salt. Lastly, put in some Italian parsley. To clean the pan is so easy. You just get a, a piece of paper and just wipe it through. And it's clean within one minute. Hi everybody, I'm here to introduce you to the K-Art Chinese wok made from Korea. The unique feature about the K-Art cookware it's made of 7 ply silver nano marble stone that make it more durable. I'm going to show you a dish called seafood tomato soup using the Chinese wok. First, we need to heat up the wok because this is a very unique wok. It heat up very fast and it saves energy and time. First, we'll pour on the, in the olive oil and to cook the onion. Garlic, followed by the fennel. The good thing about this wok, it doesn't stick, so you can maintain it very easily because it don't stick to the surface. We we'll put in the dry oregano. We we'll put in some salt to speed up the process to get the. The moisture of the onion, so it soft, softens faster. Yep. Okay, it's about done. We we'll put in the tomato. Followed by the seafood, the fish. Then. Mussels. And the crab. Degrease with white wine. Season. Followed by the stock, the fish stock, or chicken stock if you want. Yeah. And uh, basil. Cover it and bring it to a boil. The dish is done. Hi everyone, I'll be showing you how K-Art Cookware can make cooking so easy and fast. The unique feature about the K-Art Cookware is made of 7 ply silver nano marble stone that make it more durable. I'll be showing you a simple dish called braised oxtail stew using the K-Art pot. First, we season the oxtail and we coat it with flour, put in the oil, we need to pan fry and seal the oxtail until caramelized. Bring it down. By using this K-Art pot, 
you will use a lesser oil. You don't have to use as much as a normal cooking pot. The pot is also approved by the USA FDA. Another unique feature about K-Art pot is that you have a non it's non-stick and look at it when I turn it, it don't stick to the the base. This will make cooking and cleaning more easy. Once the oxtail is caramelized, we will, we will take out the oxtail. After we take out the oxtail from the, the pot, the k pot, we will saute the onion first. And the garlic. The carrot and the celery. We have to cook it about 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables is soft. Again, I need to emphasize, here at pot, you will not stick to the surface, so it's so easy. And you don't worry that it will be charred, the food will be burnt. Then followed by the tomato paste. Continue stirring for about another 5 to 8 minutes yeah, until the tomato paste is cooked and uh, not so sour. Then we add in the oxtail. The herbs. And red wine. And reduce the red wine for further about three minutes to burn out the alcohol. Then we add in the beef stock This KR pot comes with a very special lid specially designed to maintain the temperature at 80 degrees in the pot throughout the cooking process The edge is designed to prevent overflowing Cover the oxtail steel and bring it to a boil. How you know when it's, it's boiling? You, there's a special feature on the lid that will come up with a, a sound that alert you when it's boiling. We'll cook the oxtail, leave it to uh, simmer it slowly until it's cooked. Oh, now it's already boiled. The oxtail is done. You'll place it in a pot to serve. For cleaning, it's very easy. Using a wet cloth, just clean the surface. Just wipe it through because it's non-stick. As I explained just now, it's so easy to clean. Always remember, every kitchen needs a K-Art cookware.